You may have often seen mid-air refueling, but this one is different. For the first time in the world, an unmanned aerial vehicle mid-air refueled a fighter jet. The amazing MQ-25 program, in a visual delight, successfully conducted the first ever aerial refueling operations between a manned receiver aircraft and unmanned tanker on June 4th from Mid-America Airport in Muscoota, Illinois. The news is confirmed by Naval Air Systems Command of the U.S. Navy. This successful flight demonstrated that the MQ-25 Stingray can fulfill its tank commission using the Navy's standard probe and rogue aerial refueling method. On successful mission achievement, Rear Admiral Brian Kowe, who oversees the Program Executive Office for Unmanned Aviation and Strike Weapons, said, This flight lays the foundation for integration into the carrier environment, allowing for greater capability toward manned unmanned teaming concepts. MQ-25 will greatly increase the range and endurance of the future carrier air wing, equipping our aircraft carriers with additional assets well into the future, he added. During the flight, the receiver Navy F-18 Super Hornet fighter jet approached the Boeing-owned MQ-25 T-1 test set, conducted a formation evaluation, wake survey, rope tracking, and then plugged with the unmanned aircraft. T-1 then successfully transferred fuel from its air refueling store to the F-18. Captain Chad Reed, program manager for the Navy's Unmanned Carrier Aviation Program Office, PMA-268, said, This is our mission, an unmanned aircraft that flees our strike fighters from the tanker role and provides the carrier air wing with greater range, flexibility and capability. Seeing the MQ-25 fulfilling its primary tasking today, fueling an F-18 is a significant and exciting moment for the Navy and shows concept progress towards realizing MQ-25's capability for the fleet, he added. The test flight will provide important early data on air wake interactions as well as guidance and control. The team will analyze the data to determine if any adjustments are needed and make software updates early, with no impact to the program's test schedule. Testing with T1 will continue over the next several months to include flight envelope expansion, engine testing and deck handling demonstrations aboard an aircraft carrier later this year. The MQ-25A Stingray will be the world's first operational carrier-based unmanned aircraft and provide critical air refueling and intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities that greatly expand the global reach, operational flexibility and lethality of the carrier air wing and carrier strike group. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind, Bande Matram.